You know, the first time I picked up a paintbrush was probably, I guess, about 20 months ago. And um, it was a Saturday, and I just decided I wanted to go to a, an art store and get some canvases and some paint. And I think I was just looking for a way to, to do something that would bring me a little bit of peace and let me get away and escape, because I have a really, really high-intensity work life. And uh, the first time I touched a canvas, it was a very freeing thing. And, I've had no professional training and I think what people love about my art and what I've found in it is that there's no such thing as a perfect painting. In fact, I think what makes art magical and beautiful is the imperfection of art and not being scared when you look at a canvas and being able to do a lot of different things without any fear at all. And so I think there's a there's a lot of South Louisiana in my work, and what I mean by that is that freedom of expression, uh, that open and welcoming culture that we have, uh, the music I grew up listening to, um, the, the aroma and smell and flavor of my mom's food, for goodness sake. I think all of that's in the paintings. I think all the experiences I've had as a teacher traveling all over the world, I think every time I pick up a brush or I pick up a palette knife or some other crazy thing I decide to add texture to a painting with, it's just a little bit of all that experience and it's a little bit of the vibrancy. Some of the paintings are, are very bright, some are dark, some are, uh, are moody and some are carefree. So to me that's what art is. It's just um, expressing yourself openly. It's taking the thing that you have inside and applying it to your work. And then I think the craziest thing to me about paintings is sometimes I'll finish one, I'll hang it on the wall, and I'll come back a month later, two months later, and look at it and go, that's not finished. And then I'll do something else to it. And some of my best work has been three or four or five months in the process. And then the last part was learning to resin. That is such a, a magical thing to do. And to be able to take a painting and bring it back to life by applying resin to it, and taking the care with that painting to take a blowtorch and one inch at a time make sure that the resin is perfect and that it looks that way. So that was, um, that was something that took me a while to, to learn and to do. But you know, practice makes perfect regardless of whether it's art or, or anything else. So I hope you enjoy my paintings. I hope you enjoy uh, uh, what I was trying to express and I hope you see that in each painting. And, I think that um, you know, for the people that have bought some of my work and hung it in their homes, it's, uh, it's been really rewarding uh, to hear what they've had to say about what others have said about my artwork. So, hope you enjoy it, and uh, it's been fun talking to you, so see you later.